Yo guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best NVIDIA settings, the best NVIDIA drivers, and some secret NVIDIA settings that you can use to boost your FPS and lower your input delay in Fortnite Chapter 7. A lot of people have been struggling to boost their FPS this season, and the input delay this season has felt really choppy. So I'm going to show you all how you can do it. So let's not waste any time and let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually close Fortnite so you're on your desktop. And once you're on here, you're going to want to right click and head over to the NVIDIA control panel. And on the left hand side here, we're going to be clicking on adjust image settings with preview and make sure you select the middle option that says use the advanced 3D image settings. And then you want to click take me there. And then in this box here is all of the settings that we're going to be changing. So the first thing we're going to be doing inside here is all of these anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering settings. We're going to be turning these off. Then if you scroll down with this bar to low latency mode, make sure you turn this on. This will just reduce the amount of latency so your game feels much more responsive. Then scroll down a little bit more until you see OpenGL GDI compatibility and OpenGL rendering GPU. You're going to make sure for the GPU you set this to your NVIDIA graphics card. And then for your OpenGL GDI compatibility you want to set this to preferred performance. Then if we scroll down to shader cache size we want to set this to 10 gigabytes. And then the last one inside here is going to be the preferred refresh rate. You want to set this to highest available. Once you've done that click apply. And we're going to be moving on to a setting that not many people know about. So if we click on the program settings at the top here and then click add, click browse, go over to this PC, click on your Windows drive here, then head over to Windows and scroll all the way down. You'll see Explorer right here. You want to click this and click open. And then if we scroll down until we see power management mode, we want to set this to prefer maximum performance. Once you've done that, click apply. And then we can move back over to the left and click on configure surround and physics and we're going to be setting our physics processor to our graphics card so make sure you just select your nvidia graphics card for this and click apply now the last thing we're going to be doing inside the nvidia control panel is heading down to adjust desktop size and position and make sure that your main monitor is set to no scaling as this reduces the amount of input delay and gives you the lowest possible input delay so you can get the best feeling game once you set this to no scaling just click apply and you can exit off your nvidia control panel and those are your NVIDIA settings fully optimized. Before I go any further with the video, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is an optimization service that offers all these different products for super cheap prices. They all work really well and they all have really positive reviews. And when I use these on stock windows, I was getting about 240 FPS. And when I use these extreme tweaks right here, I was getting about 400 to 500 FPS in game. So they work super well for me. But if you do want to check these out, I'll leave the link in the description. And if you are purchasing, make sure you use code Ruffy at checkout so you can save 15% and get the tweaks for even cheaper. But back to the video, now we're going to be installing the best NVIDIA driver for Fortnite. And we're not going to be doing this via NVIDIA app, we're actually going to be doing this via NV Clean Store. So if we open a Google page and we type in NV Clean Store, click enter and this top link here, the tech power up link, you want to click on this. I'll leave this link in the description as well so you can just click on the link and it'll take you to this page. You want to download the Windows 11 or 10 option here and click download. Now on here, you want to select wherever you're from with the lowest server load. So for me, this will be the UK with 1%. I'm not going to select this one because it's 4%. So we're going to be doing the Tech Power Up UK 2. You just click on this and install it to your downloads. And as you can see, it's installed within a few seconds. Now we're going to be opening up our downloads page and just running this. And it will bring up something that looks like this. So to install the REST driver, you need to select manually select a driver version and then click show all versions here and drop this down. 572.60 so if we scroll down we'll be able to see it right here 572.60 for windows and you want to make sure you're selecting the desktop version not the notebook or the studio make sure you select the desktop and then we're going to just be clicking next and right here we want to select only the display driver so we have the lowest amount of bloatware on our driver and then click next just wait for the display driver to install and then we're going to be getting the lowest bloated settings on the next page so once this has installed, the only things that we're going to be selecting on the next page are disable installer telemetry and advertising, perform a clean installation, disable DLSS indicator, disable multiplane overlay, disable Ansel, and then we're going to be ticking this box right here that says show expert tweaks. And then on these extra tweaks right here, we're going to be disabling the driver telemetry, disabling the Nvidia HD audio device sleep timer, Enable message signaled interrupts, make sure you select this and then right here where it says interrupt policy, we're going to be selecting both of these to default. Disabling HDCP, start external application and then use method compatible with EAC and automatically accept the driver unassigned warning. Then we're going to be clicking next. 
and it will take you to this page where all you need to do is click install and then right here you just need to do the express installation i'm not going to be doing this as i already have this driver installed but all you need to do is click next on the express installation and it's like installing a normal nvidia driver from the nvidia app and once you've done that you can restart your pc and that is the best driver you can use for this season of fortnite the last thing that we're going to be doing is optimizing our NVIDIA app settings for our clips so we can get the lowest amount of delay possible in game and the NVIDIA app doesn't take up too much space on our PC. So click Alt Z to open up your NVIDIA app and right here where it says instant replay click on here. Click on configure video capture and right here are the best settings that you can use to get the best quality clips and also ensure that the NVIDIA app doesn't take up too much usage on your PC. Once you've done these, you can just enable the replay and it will automatically save all of these settings. That is going to be it for this video, guys. If it did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe as it really helped me out. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.